Hello everybody and um, welcome to um, well basically what we're going to be doing is a new, new, new approach on this channel I tweeted about this the other day um, we're going to be looking at um, tech videos to help you guys basically so what this is is um, this first video we're doing is is Razer is Razer Game Booster actually any good? Does it work on lower end systems? We're going to test this on higher end systems as well um, this is a lower system, so we're just going to take you through the specs of the system quickly, and then we'll jump into um, what we're actually doing. So we don't care that there's a download update for Specky. Um, let's take a look at what we are running here. So, uh, wow, that's too big. Uh, <laughs> let's just stretch it out a little bit on the side here. There we go. Right. Okay. So we can see the operating system we're running is Windows 10 Home 64. Uh, the CPU we're running is an Intel Exeon X3210 at 2.13 gigahertz. Um, this is the Kentsfield 65 nanometer technology. Uh, the RAM we're running is 8 gig DDR2, nothing fancy, nothing special. The motherboard is made by Intel Corporation. It's a DG965SS J. Um, well, in brackets, J1PR. I'm guessing that's the model. Like or the release area of it, something like that. Um, and the graphics, um, we're going to ignore them. Uh, they're the two monitors I'm running basically. One's an LG, well, they're both LGs. Um, one's running at 1080, one's running at 1050. Um, the graphics card we have is the 2 gigabyte Invi uh, EVGA NVIDIA GeForce GTX 750 Ti uh, for the Win Edition, um, just if you're interested. Um, they're about £110 at the moment. Uh, maybe pick one up for about 100 quid, probably second hand, about 80 pound. Um, the storage we're going to be using is the SSDs, um, so ignore the SATA drives, we're not using them. We're going to be running everything off of the uh, 120 Kingston and off the 240 Kingston. So uh, we're, we're, we're recording to the 240 Kingston, we're running everything off of the, the operating system SSD, so everything's got a fair chance to perform at its best. Uh, we've got no optical drive in and uh, the audio is on board HD. Um, nothing much more you need to really know about it. Um, there's some specs on the graphics card if you want to have a quick butchers at them. So there's no overclock running or anything like that, just the boost clock. Um, and the CPU, quad core, quickly if you want to have a look at some of them specs. Like I said, it's 2.13 gigahertz. Um, there's no overclock running on it at all. Um, it's currently sitting at about 50 odd degrees across the board. Um, that's where we've uh, been testing before, and we're also recording it at the moment. Uh, so, this is the computer we're going to be using. We're going to be testing this on a higher end system as well. We're going to be testing this on an 8 core as well with um, the same graphics card that's in this system. Um, so, Let's uh, let's get right into it, guys. Um, right, guys. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to install uh, Haven Benchmark. Uh, to do this, basically, we need to open your internet web browser. Um, when it opens, I did click it. No, I didn't. That's why I did click it. Clicked it three times. Right, okay, and we're gonna go. I think I've got it in my favourites. I don't remember. You and me. No. Um, Haven. Benchmark. Oh, there you go. Look, right there. Haven Benchmark. So, we're gonna go to Haven Benchmark and we're gonna download the free version. It's gonna take a um, minute to download. So, once you've done that, I'm not gonna click save because it's gonna start overwriting the current one I have. So, once you've downloaded that, uh, you're going to need to locate where that downloaded do. Um, in my case, um, I just stuck them all in my downloads quickly, just uh, just here for you guys. Um, ignore this, you don't need to worry about that. And that can be deleted anyway. Sorry guys, I'm going to leave Sony Vegas Pro there. Um, yes, it's pirated, who cares. I don't use it anyway anymore. I actually bought um, Adobe Premiere Pro, so it's actually really good, I'm really surprised. Um, so, we're going to install, oh, we're not going to install Razer, we're going to install the Haven Benchmark, sorry. So, let's get that started. Guys, this is going to be a little bit slow, because obviously I'm recording at the same time as installing stuff, so it might take a little bit longer than normal. 
Um, we're going to accept terms and conditions. We're going to click next. We're going to call myself. Um, we're going to install it to the C drive um, as it's an SSD and it's not going to affect anything else when we do the gaming benchmarks as well. So we're going to install that to here. Lovely, and that's installed. And um, we're going to run that. And we're going to take a look at the scores afterwards. So we're just going to run DirectX 11, quality, we're going to run high, and we're going to disable everything else, okay? Um, we're going to get rid of that. Um, we'll leave that icon up there for you guys so you can see what we're doing. Um, we're just going to hit run basically. Uh, it's just going to jump into full screen and it's going to benchmark. So I'm going to let this run guys and um, when it's finished we'll take a look at the scores. So the benchmark's finished, and this is obviously now you can see like um, the, uh, the FPS that it was sort of. Uh, I think this is the yes, this is the mean FPS. So this is what it was doing oh, basically nearly all the time. So 47.8. It's not bad. It's not bad. It's not, bad. It's not quite the 60 we're looking for, but it's close. Um, and a score of 1205. Uh, minimum 80 FPS and a maximum of 88. Um, and this is obviously what we were running, so um, what we're going to do, we're going to save this little benchmark just so we can come back to it later, um, we'll put it on the desktop, that's nicely, fine, and we're going to, oh, oh my god, <laughs> right now what we're going to do is we're going to quit out of this and we're going to install um, Razer Game Booster basically because obviously the idea of this is to find out if it's actually going to, if it actually does anything really so um, you can download Razer Game Booster from Razer's website, uh, links will be in the description I'll show you where I get them all from uh, and we're going to very quickly install that um, as you see I've got it here already so I'm going to run straight off the setup but you can get it from Razer's website from here straight to come to this web page here and click on download now 
and it's say fire pops up just there for you. So you guys can go down like that, and let's um, give this a test. Really, see what happens. Uh, we're going to get rid of Haven for a minute. We don't need that open at the moment. We do need this though. So we're going to accept terms and conditions. We're going to install in C just to keep it simple, and we'll get rid of that. So once this is installed, we will um, turn the boost on, set it up properly to how we want it to work, and disable all the features that need disabling. Obviously, we've got to leave OBS running so that it can record what's going on. Um, everything on this is being shot with OBS, so at 24 FPS to give it the best chance. Yes, we're shooting everything at 24 frames to give a. Uh, the system the best chance of uh, actually maybe working better so uh, we're gonna let this install and we'll be back nearly done now uh, it's just finishing off the installation uh, we're gonna turn launch and start up off we only want to launch it when we want to launch it plus it's probably not gonna be on the system for much longer and we'll start this up um, you can need an email and a password to log into the system. If you don't have an account, you can create one here. I believe I do have one. So we're going to quickly log into this. Oh my god, we got the password right first time. It's just gonna. It's gonna. I think it's scanning the computer for all the games that I own at the moment. This could take it a minute. So once it's done this um, and we're into this, the app, we'll uh, we'll carry on, guys. Okay, so Razer's um, finally woken up. Um, looks like they've had some new features to this since I last used it. Uh, game game car stuff. Uh, I've not seen this before. We're not uh, too interested in that at the moment. We are more interested in the boost feature they have. So you can see uh, we have some games installed. Um, we're going to jump on to the boost. And um, we're going to turn automatic boost off just for a second. Um, and we're just going to check OBS is not on this list anywhere. doesn't look like it's selecting it so let there's OBS running sweet so we're gonna we're gonna leave that running um, and we're gonna see what this does basically if it actually makes a difference at all so we're gonna hit boost and it's freed up a lot of RAM and suspended a lot of stuff so we'll see what happens um, if it even makes a difference at all or not we will find out so we're going to minimise this, uh, we'll open Haven Benchmark again. Uh, all this stuff is the same as the last time, and we're going to click Run. Oh, once this is loaded in, we will start the benchmark again, and um, hopefully see an increase in performance, maybe. I, I don't actually know, to be honest. Um, I'm going to quickly mute my mic and run the benchmark.
Okie dokie, so that's finished. Um, there's a slight improvement there by the looks of it. Um, in the max range, anyway. Um, we're just gonna, we'll save this again just so we can double check our results. Um, so here we go, guys. The results are here. I've put them into a nice little grid for you so you can see them all put clearly. So, as you see, with the boost on, uh, 1207 and with the boost off is 1205 so there's not really a big increase at all and uh, the same goes for the um, FPS there's only a slight increase in the average and well not even a slight it's a point one of an FPS in that average and only a one FPS in the maximum but a nice gain in the minimum FPS so it, the results are inconclusive it's within what's the word I'm looking for um, margin it's yeah within margin of error base so uh, yeah that concludes this video I hope you enjoy it and uh, leave a like and a comment if you want to see some more stuff like this and give us a comment for some suggestions for videos as well uh, speak to you all soon thanks for watching